We're going to be taking this team and trying to turn it into a god squad in only one week. Big shout out to Base Highlights for letting us use his account. But yeah, I guess if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, drop a like, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Starting off day one, this is what our roster is looking like. It doesn't look too great, but we do have a lot of room for improvement. Obviously, whenever you're a 68 overall, you can improve dramatically. Of course, we have to go ahead and open up our starter packs, which we have a whole bunch on this account. Some notable players in our starter packs were Angry Runs Will Levis. We had some upgradable players like a Derek Henry, which will be huge. A Micah Parsons we can upgrade to a 97 overall. We also had this Rich Eisen, but we already have the Derek Henry. But it's nice to have two backs. We have a Kendall Fuller free agency card and a Sugar Rush Trayvon Walker. Now plugging all of those players back into the lineup, we are a 77 overall. Feeling a little bit confident heading into the solo challenges and solo battles. But still, we have a lot of room for improvement. For our first set of things to do, I feel like we gotta go over to the Team of the Week challenges so that we can try to get one of the free Team of the Week players and then sell it off. Try to make some quick coins after that. It might take only like an hour, hour and a half to do all of these solos but yeah this is the start of our grind right here so like i said it took us only like an hour and a half to complete all of those challenges and as you guys can see we got the 97 team of the year pack along with some other packs from those challenges now out of the team of the week pack we got a 97 tyree kill a 97 jesse bates and a 97 cd lamb i thought i struck gold with the tyree kill pool but it seems like jesse bates sold for a lot more coinage which it really surprised me but gotta go ahead and take him then we can sell him off for around 450,000 coins hey at the end of the day we're getting a lot of coins so i'm not gonna complain too much out of our rare option pack we got a playmaker pack inside of that one and it got a sugar rush 89 overall middle linebacker and a 90 overall center so some big upgrades out of this one playmaker pack we will take those going back over to the team and adding all of the players into the lineup we are an 85 overall overall all around our offense is looking a lot better plus we got the free team of the week players to insert into our lineups as well of course like i said in the beginning micah parsons gets some upgrades so we got some upgrade tokens we can use it on him and he's a 92 overall inside of the lineup we also had some team captain upgrades and i ended up using it on the center kevin malway kind of wanted to go with him because offensive line i'm not really looking to spend that many coins on offensive line if i'm being honest plus as you guys can see we got the 93 overall Patrick Peterson from the field pass. I went ahead and bought this 91 overall Darnell Mooney. And the reason why I did that was to get the free agency passes because you need some players for those. So why not get a receiver that we need? Next up, I hopped into the solo battles. Yes, we're going to be doing a lot of solo battles because this is going to help out with the competitive pass. And it's just going to give us a whole bunch of XP by doing this. After almost two hours of doing those solos, we finished up all of those. And yeah, it was a bit rough, but we put it on rookie. We got a lot of stats. That's what we needed from doing all of these solos. And well, it paid off because we had 18 unopened packs to go ahead and get into. Was very excited to open up packs here at this start. Out of some of those packs, we got some nice upgrades. An 88 free agency player isn't gonna hurt. In this midfield pass, we did get a 90 overall Antonio Cromartie. Huge addition to the secondary. And then with this last one, we get another addition with the strong safety Darren Woodson. Out of the red zone pack, we ended up getting some nice players to add to the team, especially this 91 overall Brees Hall, which I ended up selling. Again, out of another red zone pack, we started off with a 90 overall outside linebacker. Then we get a Redux player. This one was going to be a 93 Rob Gronkowski. Huge pull to start things off with. And the big pulls wouldn't end there. Out of this playmaker pack, we got an 89 Bruce Smith and a 90 outside linebacker yet again. For the Pro Max Fantasy pack, the second round was treating us good with a 92 overall B. John Robinson and again I ended up selling that card. This 91 overall free agency elite pack had a lot of good stuff for us to take but I decided to go with these defensive endurance Armstrong. Had another
another tough decision to make out of the combine rookies, but I ended up going with a wide receiver, Roma Dunze. We needed receiver really bad for the squad, but we also had a second one. And in the second overall pack, I was thinking maybe we go another wide receiver or maybe we go tight end, maybe we go end. But ultimately, I ended up deciding that we should go quarterback Drake May because, hey, it's going to be a lot easier for the, a high overall quarterback to do some of the challenges. So we went Drake May. For the 94 overall, aka Cruise Pack, I decided to take left in Mata Beast because he's one of the best ones to take at this promo. So why not go ahead and take him? Now, as you guys can see, we are a 90 overall and the offense was looking really sweet. We had some solid receivers. The offensive line could use some work, especially the tackle position, but I was liking everything else, especially the skill positions. Obviously, we could still upgrade a lot more, but this is only day one. Let's not freak out. Defensively, we weren't as good as the offensive side of the ball, but we still have a lot to improve prove especially at our safety and middle linebacker position and the defensive line could use some improvements as well but for day number one I was pretty satisfied with the upgrades that we were making start of day two and I ended up buying this 94 overall DJ reader I saw him at a fair price so I was like why not go ahead and get him of course we had to continue grinding and that means solo challenges and I was thinking you know what why not go ahead and do these sugar rush ones first since this is the newest promo that just dropped and whenever I tell you it took a couple of hours it did take a couple of hours because I did all of the sugar rush challenges the team of the year challenges and the NFL combine challenges which in included the extreme combine challenges for Darren McFadden which these challenges are they're a massive pain bro the CPU absolutely just cheeses however as a result of all those challenges we had some pretty good packs to go ahead and get into especially this 95 Darren McFadden obviously not gonna be our starter just yet but a solid player for us to add then we had another 93 B and D combine hero fantasy pack and in this one I ended up taking right in chop Robinson so we're already replacing some guys that we took in day one. For the 95 honorable mention fantasy pack player, we could go a lot of routes like a corner, defensive tackle, but I was thinking more of like the offensive line, maybe left tackle or left guard. Ultimately, I ended up going with the left tackle Tristan Wirfs, 95 overall. I would go ahead and buy the 95 overall B and D Sugar Rush fantasy player pack. And again, was looking around, but we kind of need offensive line. So out of all of the offensive linemen, there's a left tackle, right tackle. We already got left tackle, so let's go right tackle. Of course, we always have to end off our days with some solo battles. Yes, they're kind of boring. Well, not kind of, they're really boring, but we have to do them. So that's what I ended up doing for day number two to end it off. Day number three started off with a pretty nice touchdown pack. We got a 91 right there. And that Redux gave us a 95 Marquise Pouncey, which this was huge because he ended up selling for like 160K. Gave us a ton of coins, especially in this pack. We got the 91 Brees Hall that we ended up selling off as well. But guys, we're back to the same old, same old. We have to do solo challenges. I know it's boring, but I mean, today we are doing NFL free agency ones. Well, but at least we started off with the NFL free agencies because I wanted to get the Kendall Fuller upgrade token that was in that pack. And yeah, after more hours of grinding, I actually finished those challenges and the legend challenges. Yes, I did the legend challenges because I wanted to get a player that I had in mind. You guys might be wondering, like, who is that player going to be? Well, out of everybody here, of course... We had the tight end, Rob Gronkowski, but he was playing fullback for us, and I wanted an actual fullback. We got a 94 overall Mike Allstat. Felt like this was going to be a super fun card to have, so we went ahead, picked him up. Now, if we generate the best lineup, we are a 92 overall. The offense was looking insane, and defensively, we were looking a lot better. You know, day one had us a little shook. Obviously, we got the upgrade token with Kendall Fuller. He's a 97 overall, completely upgrade. So I was very happy about that one and well to end off day three of course We have to go back to old reliable the solo battles of course these things were getting really boring as of now But I had to do them because we were working for that 97 Justin Jefferson 
To start off day four, we actually finished up the entire NFL free agency field pass, which this gave us a 94 overall B&D free agency player. And in this pack, it had a ton of really good choices for us. I mean, we could have went maybe tight end, defensive tackle, but we already kind of had positions like that. So why not go with a left guard? We needed offensive line. I don't feel like spending a lot of money on offensive line. So we took him. And then we also got this Ryan Neal for a fair price. He was going selling for like 77K. So I decided to go ahead, take him. Then we jumped back into challenges. Kind of wanted to fill out the ultimate legends. I did start on them, I think yesterday, but wanted to finish it out today to try to get one of the 98 ultimate legends. There's a Chad Ochocinco and a Bruce Smith. So yeah, we did a couple hours of grinding. Hopefully this didn't surprise you because we ended up picking up Tyreek Hill. That's a bit of a shocker, but I picked him up for like 300K. I saw he was going for that. I was trying to get the recording set up, but I couldn't get it up set up in time, but we ended up getting him. We ended up getting him, so don't worry. Like I said though, we did all of the ultimate legend challenges, so we're getting another 98 overall. And I did AKA cruise challenges. I don't know, I just would go off right after doing these challenges. I was just in a grind mode, dude. I don't even know what to tell you. But I went ahead and did all of those. And as you guys can see, the solo battles ended up paying off for us because we did end up getting the 97 overall Justin Jefferson. Very excited to add this into the lineup. Now, as for our AKA Cruise player, I ended up taking 95 Travis Kelsey. Kind of wanted him as a backup tight end behind our upgraded 97 Jordan Reed. Then it was time for our big decision. Of course, we were going to take one of the 98 overalls, get our highest overall to add to the team. Either wide receiver Chad Ochocinco or right in Bruce Smith. And I was checking out Ochocinco. That would have been a nasty receiving core. But obviously, I had to go with another position. And it was right in Bruce Smith. Kind of wanted to do that to fill out our defensive line. Then, of course, our favorite part of the video, we went on an extreme... Back from the fire cell, and this is what the team is looking like, a 95 overall. Yo, you can't tell me. Day four, we built ourselves a scary looking squad from the grinding, from getting players and everything. I love this team. I like how it fits together. Let me know if there's a player that I missed out on that I should have gotten or if I should have gotten a different player, but this was the offense. And as for the defense, we were looking a lot better. Obviously, we can still upgrade some things on the defensive side, especially our middle linebacker too, and maybe add in a better, like, I don't know, corner. Decided to roll some of these Sugar Rush rerolls, and in this one, we ended up getting a 92 Jamin Davis, so that was actually going to be an upgrade for our middle linebacker too. Then I went ahead, tried to do some seasons, which I actually finished up one season. I played a sweat in the Super Bowl, lost that one, but I was pretty happy. We went 7-1 and one in the first season. Day five started with us ripping a red zone pack. I mean, honestly, we didn't really get too much out of this one. Just got some rewards. Okay, and speaking about honesty, I did not have that much time in these next couple of days. I did not grind as hard as I was grinding in the first four days. So just cut me some slack, please cut me some slack. But I'm gonna do some uh, Mutt Champions. Yeah, the day five Mutt Champion grind was kind of short lived. We went two and two. It was really sweaty. I don't even know, but at least we did some Mutt Champs and that gave us a lot of competitive pass points. However, they did go ahead and add in some more of the solo challenges for the Sugar Rush. And after doing all of those, we hopped back in, had to play some more games, especially some Mutt Champions. Bless my soul, this was going to be hard. It's going to be a sweat fest. I don't know how much I can take. But again, was limited on time these next couple of days, so cut me some slack. Day number seven, we started off by playing some squads. Well, technically duos, but it is still mutt squads, so we did that. And if you guys wanted to see some gameplay with the team, well, here's some gameplay. I forgot to show you guys in like the next, last couple of days. But yo, I just can't really play online against these people. It's just so annoying. Here's some things that I would change about mutt. First off, I would take off inside stuff because that ability is just completely stupid. 
Uh, uh, somehow your defensive lineman knows how to shed instantly on a run play but cannot shed instantly on a pass play like make it make sense ea and plus a lot of these guys just run three defensive linemen and somehow that could stop the run i don't even know and then another thing that i would do is put a play cooldown whenever you're playing online especially in competitive because yo I don't like playing people that have to look up uh, like how to basically play Madden on YouTube and then they want to talk smack and celebrate like bro you have to look up how to play the game on YouTube and look up a defense on YouTube that doesn't make sense IRL. I don't know those are just some things that I have with the game. Maybe they make sense maybe they don't maybe you guys are like whatever it's just a video game but uh, that's kind of annoying. However we ended up finishing 6 and 4 on the Mutt Champions. I just could not play anymore. This was absolutely brutal. Oh yeah, we did end up getting the 96 overall TJ Watt from the field pass though. And out of this touchdown pack, we got some solid players, an 85, a 92, and an 86. But I went ahead, quick sold all of these back, and then we did a couple of, you know, bought some packs, did some re-rolls, nothing too special. But I did end up getting up this 96 overall middle linebacker to add to our defense. Like I said, we did some re-rolls, and we did not get too lucky. Yeah, if you guys are trying to do some re-rolls, don't even try with EA. They don't do anything. It's a big scam, Mutt is. But yeah, this is what the team ended up being. A 95 overall. I think we did a very, very good job. Let me know if there's anything that you would have changed about this whole entire like process. Anyways, I want to give Base another shout out for letting us use his account. And then I also have to shout out my channel members, which is John Bond and a random guy from YouTube which is actually his name. It's a random guy from YouTube. But thanks both to those channel members. And I guess with all that being said, it's going to end up doing it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then go check out my last video where I reset the entire NFL. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.